Hello again, Queen Rain here. And we now have a crisis to deal with. We have, we're supposed to head back to um, the Guardian base. And basically rescue them from Serpent's army. Those mines are really annoying. Let's see if I can actually set this on fire now. There we go. So we have to get to a warp point. Uh, the nearest warp point is area A2. So warp points are uh, noted by flashing gold squares. Uh, data save points are marked by flashing red squares. This is sort of where we've been. Oh yeah, if you have the, uh, yeah, it does that. There's really no rush on actually getting back to the Guardian base, per se. Um, like most games, it'll it'll wait around for you if you want to, like, go grinding or something. So it's not, like I said, there's really no big deal. But since I don't have a lot to say right this second, I'll just go do it. So, hit transport, and go to the Guardian HQ. As soon as you go back to the Guardian HQ, um, the mission starts. So if you have other things you want to do, like going to the fire site, or going to the power plant, or going to the highway, or whatever, um, you should go do those before you go to Area X1. But, since I don't care, and just play the game in whatever order I feel like, we'll come back here. We want to go to the control room and talk to, uh, very, I don't even know how to pronounce her name. Yeah, machine guns versus high-powered cannons. This is gonna end well. Yeah. 
I find that Model F works best for this uh, assignment. So you want to head up to the very top floor, which is 05, and get out on the deck. Here comes enemy boarding party. So the enemies just try to ram me. Okay, so that one's been shot down. But... We unfortunately have a minor problem. You want to switch to Model Z from here on in because it's better suited for close quarter combat. go all the way to the bottom of the floor and watch it. The uh, floor tends to drop out in this area like that. Yeah, that was real swift. I'm not doing too hot right now. Okay, so through here, we have a boss. Our boss is Prometheus. He is a master of shadows like uh, Model P is. But unlike Model P, he goes down fairly easily after some pounding. If you make use of the uh, rolling slash, it, the boss fight doesn't last very long.
bit of a rather lengthy cutscene here, so just bear with it, folks. So, with that cutscene out of the way, we've learned a little more behind the truth of the game. And you might notice up here, there's another stuffed animal. That wasn't there before. Oh yeah, we can, we can cut this one off as well, potentially. But, every time you get a level 4 victory, like I said, you get a uh, another stuffed animal up in this room. And We've got uh, Purpril up here. If you want to get level 4 victories on all the bosses, you actually don't have to play the game through over and over. Um, what you can do is, um, as you progress through the game, certain bosses will return to their previous boss room. So, like, you could fight Purpril again, or you could fight that the one that had Model L, I don't remember what her name was. And you can fight him over and over again until you get to level 4 victory. Obviously, this is very time-consuming. We've got four new mission requests. Save the people, recover the disc, attack the excavators, or protect the lab. Um, but I'm going to save the video here, or save and cut here, and I'll be back shortly so that we can, um, you know, so we can get going on our, our next set. We've hit the halfway mark in the game, and should be good to go real quickly here.